fellow citizens of planet Earth, we are under attack. Plastic waste is destroying the planet that we call home. It's polluting our oceans. It's killing our wildlife. It's devastating our ecosystems. It's sad. We often feel helpless because this seems bigger than us. But what if we could fight plastic waste with the power of a bottle? It's a smart bottle. Hey guys, welcome to Two Split. Today we are talking about a smart bottle that is trying to help us clean the plastic waste in the planet. Research has shown that by 2040, the plastic in our oceans will double, and by 2050, there'll probably be more plastic in the ocean than there is fish. I know, scary. Rebo is here to help us clean that one bottle at a time and keep us hydrated at the same time. Let's talk about it. So like I said, it's a smart bottle. Yes, everything is a smart bottle. Why is it a smart bottle? It has a time of flight sensor. It has Bluetooth technology. It has LEDs. It has rechargeable power pack. And it has an app. I'll break all that down. Everything I mentioned is really important that makes it a smart bottle. But what really makes this bottle unique, it's its ability to help clean the planet. And how does it do that? That app and the integration with the time of flight sensor sends that information every time you drink from a Rebo bottle instead of a plastic bottle letting the people over at Rebo pick up a bottle in communities around the world. Basically encouraging you to keep drinking from this bottle instead of buying plastic bottles. And the more people that do that, the company hopes, the world becomes a more sustainable place drinking from this bottle. It does several things, again, that make it more smart, if you will, but that's really its main sell, sustainability, keeping the earth um, safe for the future so that we're not polluting it with plastic as it were. Even in the box, you're gonna find the Rebo bottle you will find a USB-C cable and the cap with the sensor, with the time of flight sensor. That's really it. It has a really clever little, you know, paper that talks about long stories about sustainability. And on the front, it then goes, we believe in hashtag zero waste. I'm also a bookmark too. So they don't want you to throw anything away. So for those of you who still read physical books, a friend of mine, Sochi, I don't know what he's thinking. Ever heard of a Kindle? Um, this would probably work great for him. Moving on, so let's break the components down one at a time. First up is the time of flight sensor, and, th and that's where the magic happens. In this time of flight sensor that is embedded in this cap, um, of course it needs power, so it runs with USB-C. What it does is it measures the level in the bottle, how much water is in the bottle, and when you take it out, it calculates how much water you've just drunk, and it sends that information to a smart app. We'll talk about that later. And that's how it knows how much water you're drinking throughout the day. Let's talk about the next thing. How does it send it across? It uses Bluetooth Low Energy, BLE. And it needs to be low energy so that it doesn't take too much power. This is something you need to have every day and you're not going to have to charge it every night like my smartwatch or your smartphone. It'd just be convenient to have low energy, right? So once it's fully charged, it'll last for two months, give or take, if you use it every day, maybe longer. But they promise two months. I've, I've seen uh, on average testing over a month, but never really focused on it, but it should given the amount of data power it uses, not, not a lot at all. Next thing that makes up the smart bottle is the LED ring. At the top here, there's an LED ring for especially people like me who forget to drink a lot. Um, other than the integration with the app, it has a physical feature where this ring literally lights up to remind you that based on your hydration plan or how long ago you drank from the bottle, you should be drinking water right about now, uh, which is a nice feature, but you know, some sound probably would have helped because if I'm not looking at the bottle, I'm not gonna see that light. But then again, there is the app, which brings us to the app. So the information that's coming from the time of flight sensor that is measuring your levels and sending back to Rebo on how many bottles of water you're drinking every day, it's not just a basic water intake measure, but you can also link it to smart uh, fitness apps like uh, Samsung Health or Apple Health, and it can work with your fitness level or your activity level for the day and work out a hydration plan. So it lets you know pretty much how much water you should be having based on the type of activity you do as a person. Do you walk fast, do you walk slow? And then tells you how often you should drink that water. So based on the activity type you do, um, it works out the app, integrated to whichever app you choose, and it works across a wide range of, um, of health apps. 
and then forms a hydration plan. Again, for people like me, I rarely remember to drink water. That stuff is tasteless, but I know I need it to survive. So that helps. So in terms of pricing, you're probably gonna find this for 75 euros to about $95, give or take right now. But I backed this uh, over a year or two ago, I can't remember, because I had faith in what they were doing and I paid, I can't even say how much I paid, it's very embarrassing. So I definitely didn't pay 75 euros for it. But that's pretty much what you're gonna find it for. I think there's a sale happening soon. So keep an eye out. Anyway, like I said earlier, all those things make it a smart bottle, but the best feature here is the fact that the company is willing to dedicate resources to help you pick up plastic waste across the globe and reduce the scourge across the planet. I think it's a noble thing, but we're gonna track it over the next few months to see how they do. I've sent them an email to see how the tracking works, but they seem legit, who knows? So that's it if you're looking for a smart bottle. There are a couple of other smart bottles out there, but I haven't seen anyone that promises to help with reducing the plastic waste in the world. And that's my take on Rebo. I think it's a sturdy build, decent thermos flask, keeps everything cool. It's like a, that's, there's no technology there. That, that's been around for hundreds of years. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Does it make sense? Is it, is it sustainable as much as they claim? Um, it has a pop, you can press the one button here. Oops, sorry, did I just break it? So it's a one-handed pop open to drink. So in case you're driving, don't drink and drive, except you're drinking water. Even then, don't drink and drive. That's, that's not safe, All right? You guys stay safe out there. Wash your hands. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.